Hi guys, look back here and welcome to another FIFA 21 video and today guys I'm going to be talking and looking at the confirmed FIFA 21 Prime Icon Moments ratings. This is about my fifth time not trying to do this video because I've basically every single time just gone on to a massive stupid rant um, because I'll be quite honest I'm not really happy how EA have gone about the way with the Prime Icon Moments cards uh, with the Prime Icon Moment cards this year. I know a massive surprise once again EA are a messing up with a new promo that literally hasn't even started like it's it's oh my god it's ridiculous and don't get me wrong obviously when these prime icon moment cards come out they're still going to be amazing to use in game but what annoys me is they haven't made them as good as last year now if we go back to last year we saw that for the prime icon moment cards cards from their prime icon to their prime icon moments most of them received a plus two overall boost some of the lower end icons only received a plus one boost um and even in some cases some icons received a plus three boost so for example have a look at ricardo Kaká. um he will be getting this year a 92 rated moments card that i'm sure will still play very well in game but his moments card last year was 94 rated how can ea for, for no good reason and they won't give a reason by the way um they'll just continue to you know ignore what the whole community went when we ask questions to them they won't respond of course they never have and the, and you know they never will um but how can you give him a two rating decrease he doesn't even play you know he's retired how can you give him a two rating decrease just give them the same overall rating cards as last year okay give them a few different player traits give them a few different in-game stats i'd be fine with that i'm sure you guys would be fine with that but how can you sit there and give him only a one plus overall increase when last year you gave him a plus three increase doesn't make sense. We'll have a look at some other cards as well. Rio Ferdinand, of course, one of England's greatest centre backs over a number of years for you, you know, for Leeds and, and then obviously for Man United and stuff like that. Had a 92 rated moments card last year. He only has a one plus increase to a 91 rated, which don't get me wrong, will still play very good in game. Will still be one of the best centre backs in the game. But it just annoys me that EA aren't making them as good as last year. It's another promo that they're just making worse. You know, we saw how bad that they made the Footmas promo, rebranding it to, you know, to Winter Refresh, and the promo wasn't great in general. Future Stars hasn't been great as, you know, can, compared to previous years, at least in my opinion. Team of the Year was okay because of the, uh, you know, the upgrade packs were actually decent this year. But um, it, it, it's another promo that they're killing, and it literally hasn't even begun yet. I don't know if it starts tomorrow, or I don't know if it starts the following Friday. I'm not too sure. But, um, you know, I'll have a look at some other cards. For example, Henan Crespo had a 92-rated moments card last year, a 2-plus increase on his Prime card this year. Again, just a 1-plus increase. And don't get me wrong, you know, it's a really, really cool dynamic image. And I'd love to have him in my club, but it just annoys me that I'll be, I'll be sitting there using a 91 Crespo when he literally had a 92 rated card last year, and he's done nothing wrong to get this decrease. I'd love to know what EA's reasoning is behind it. Basically, they just don't want people within this game to be having as good of cards as uh, as compared to previous years. That you know, That's what they want. Um, and, and and I find that a bit annoying to be honest. And and th they will still sit there and they will still expect people to spend you know money on the game for cards that literally aren't going to be as good as, as as last year, which I think is just t you know really really bad. But um, what I do know is, uh, and I would encourage people not to spend money during this promo. I for one will not be. Um, and I would encourage it and hope that you guys watching, and obviously, you know, you you, you do you with, you with your money, uh, you know, at the end of the day. Um, but I would just like to think that people will look at these cards and will think, okay, well, they haven't made them as good as last year. Don't spend money on the promo. Just, you know, that it's, um, yeah, you know, it's, it's difficult really to kind of put it into words of how just annoyed i am with them again and and just their bizarre reasoning for making these cards not as good as last year you know emmanuel petit is uh, is another icon he had a 92 rated moments last year only a one plus increase for him butcher had a 94 moments only a one plus increase for him as well you look at cards like you know johan Cruyff, one of the greatest players of all time he had a 96 rated moments card last year that i was very lucky to be able to get in a free pack they give him a 95 rated one of the greatest players of all time and he's only 95 rated Puskas, a new icon this year. He only got the 95 rated as well. Samuel Eto, another fantastic striker, obviously, of his generation. Uh, and this 93 card, I have no doubt, will play absolutely amazing in game. But why can't they just give them that plus two increase? You know, to give a bit of breathing room between his prime icon and his prime icon moments cards, you will not notice much of a difference at all. You, you probably won't even notice any difference between the prime icon and the prime icon moments. The only thing that really makes these prime icon moments really, really cool 
is their dynamic image. And even some of the dynamic images, so, you know, for example, on Kaka, like Kaka's dynamic image doesn't even look good this year. To be fair, Eto does have a pretty sick dynamic image, at least in my opinion. Crashbot has a really cool dynamic image. Rio Ferdinand has a nice dynamic image. But um, yeah, they haven't made these cards as good as last year. Now, for example, the wear icons, some of the lower tier icons did only receive a plus one boost last year. So for example, Filippo Wanzaghi was one who had a 91 rated moments card last year. And again, he's got that this year. Um, but I, I, and what a weird dynamic image as well. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just left frustrated by it, to be quite honest. And, you know, uh, how they've only give every single icon just a one plus increase. Um, I, I just find it a bit frustrating personally. But uh, also, you know, you guys can go onto, your, you know, onto the transfer market and you have a look at all the, you know, moments cards yourselves. Uh, you will find that every single one of them has only been given a one plus overall boost. We'll have to wait and see what their in-game stats are like and, and how they compare to last year. But um, I'm not a fan of it personally. But uh, yeah, you know, it, 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 it is what it is. And I guess I should and we should, you know, become to expect this from EA. And, you know, what will they do with the Prime Icon Moment cards next year? Will they make them, like, the same rating with just better in-game stats? Wouldn't even surprise me if they did that next year. So, I just find it very annoying that I'm already criticising a promo that hasn't started. Maybe that's bad of me to criticise a promo that hasn't started. But, you know, let, let's be honest here. We often get excited for promos and are left disappointed. So, from now on, every single time we go into a promo of any sort, whether it be Team of the Year, Moments cards, Team of the Season, uh, Foot Birthday, I'm going to go in with extremely low expectation. Because I don't expect them to deliver anything well. They have their good moments with a few decent SPCs and a few decent cards that they bring out. But it, fr from what I see, every single year since I've been doing YouTube on FIFA, back in FIFA 17, it seems to get worse and worse and worse. And um, it just leaves you in a really, really difficult position. But... I'll let us know what you guys think in the comment section about these uh, ratings as well. Are you bothered about it? Maybe it's just me overreacting. I'm not too sure. Uh, but let me guys know in the comment section. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys later.